Welcome back, everybody. Let's play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, we... Well, we just kind of did things. We finished up a couple of jobs in Mount Bristle. We uh, did some sentry duty, and... Uh, well, we're here again. Because, apparently, Chetot doesn't really have things for us to do. So, he's just sending, it out, sending us out on doing random stuff. Hello! For the time being, though, I'm not sure what I was actually going to conclude with that sentence. <laughs> yeah, I was just kind of like hoping that it would come to me. I've, I've gone to Mount Bristle way too many times to really ever have anything to say on the subject, or while being here. I mean, I've done lots of stuff here off screen too. Just that those two days I went crazy with doing lots of stuff, lots of jobs here. But and I do more stuff like that if both the opportunity presented itself and uh which would mean that I would ha have something optional available or that I have to do something to progress the story and but doing it as optional so I could just kind of keep repeating days. But, um... Oh, I do not eat this. I meant to eat this. This thing on. I'm gonna end up getting rid of that, I'm sure, because I'm gonna need, uh, take inventory space for the grass climbing, but oh well. But, that and, uh, I, I need to stop recording at a time where I could, like I just said, and, and also, you know what, I need to stop interrupting myself because I forget what my second point is, and anyhow, I don't want to really do that because being over level won't really be fun, or at least for viewing, I don't think. Oh, finally, the duo wants to join. Uh, what do I name you? Darn it. Alright, named a Lily, don't I? Hmm. Um. I don't have names, man. See, I can't really think of Luca. No! You did it all wrong. But, I don't want to be over level, so... I guess that just won't be as fun to watch, I don't think. And I definitely... I'd grind a ton if I... was playing this... and it wasn't a Let's Play. You jerk. Because I, I really like being over level, because I just kind of plow through stuff and be kind of... Cool. But, but I just kind of like grinding in general. But grinding is not good uh, let's play material, and well, which isn't really a problem because I just grind on my own time. And at the same time, oh, darn it. God. Not very good let's play material, and at the same time, I just plow through everything, so. And pl plow through everything once I was actually over leveled. Oh, yes, let's remember to not eat that gummy. No, oh, actually, since. I ran out of particular attack. Might as well, actually. Pick up. No. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm forgetting how to do things. Uh, now, I'll just admit, it's becoming a lot harder and harder to come up with things to say while in Mount Bristle. 
because I experience the same thing, thing every time here. And, and for the most part, I'm not coming back to Mount Bristol anymore, at least not on screen, but... Yay! Oh, HP went up by three, that's nice. <laughs> I'm not really doing it much, going through here much on screen anymore, but I've just gone through here so many times that... I'm about to, why do I have to slow down every time I go over an item in a hallway? Skateboard, it's a nice thing to have. I know I have a decent number of them, but still. seed for it, I just got a new one. I think I have underappreciated how good heal seeds are like this, but oh well. Yay, it's a thing. I don't remember what I fed last, I think it was car. Seeing how there was more than one grass coming on the floor, would they have both counted as the item that I was looking for? Oh, I think they would have. Whichever one I picked up first. Go away! Um, thank God, guard. I am so glad that I linked that in charge. Dude, that's the third one. Boop. Oh yeah, defense. Uh, that's an another reason to give gummies to uh so many orange berries. That's a decent reason to give uh, gummies to uh, teammates actually. Because you get this little stat boosts from it. That's definitely something I'm missing out on, even if I don't take IQ abilities into account. Um. Screw you. Pretty much cornered, actually. Did Matt just, like, not do anything? Damn it. Oh crap, Krieger's actually hurting. And of course, right after we find all these orange berries. Um. <laughs> I still love that. Oh god, that is a large beetle on the floor. And look at that, this is um... This carpet is some very hard terrain for it to traverse. Huh. Well. Was this the third... Was this the third job that I completed here? I had three jobs. No, because one was on... First was on floor five. No, the last one was on floor nine. There's a junior exploring, yes. Where did that thing come from? Oh, where did it go? Oh, I see it. Ugh, little oddities. I haven't seen that one time in my Just Ref Let's Play that I... Was, a spider was hanging down from the wall in front of me. Or hanging down from the ceiling in front of me on a little... thing of web. It was actually kind of amusing. And then it fell. And there's that one time I Infest Let's Play that... had an ant on my face. 
a lot of bugs here. I never realized that. Why are there so many bugs here? Hmm. Sounds like something that someone should do something about. And that, that beetle is expending so much energy get it moving across this carpet. It's shag carpet, so... It has to move its legs up so high. It's like when you're walk, trying to walk through like three foot deep snow, just sort of bring up your knees as high, your legs as high as possible to trudge on through. That's what he's doing. He's kind of fumbling as he's doing it too. It's not like the least efficient route possible down here. Hey! Be not there. Jerk. Actually, how, how's my shorter bite so I can use force bomb? So I might be able to use force bomb on a... Hello! So I might be able to use force bomb on the outlaw. Yay! Oh, where'd that beetle go off to now? I think it's under the Papazon. Nope, oh, nope, there it is. Hope I didn't remember to name this episode after that beetle. White gun here. Nom. Yay, defense. What's my defense at? Hmm. Oh, hi. Nom. Well, see, let's drop an app. Let's get rid of this apple. I should just swap it. Since I wanted, I want, wanted to get the orange berry back that I lost. I still saw my edge to scrub the controls a lot. I just thought, just thought I'd eat that grass gummy. Mm. It's hard to not eat gummies. Gummies are chewy and delicious. And like, Juicy, that shellos that I found. I wonder if I'll ever take Juicy on expedition, I probably won't. And I'm mainly just like, leaving my teammates to rot, the one, the one that I recruit. Um, uh, just because I'm really only recruiting them to have a collection of Pokemon instead of actually using them. I keep forgetting that you can use Quick Attack around corners like Garn just did. It's actually quite useful. I wonder if you could do it like through corners too. I'm guessing you couldn't. Um, kill. Ow. Just going to like kill everything mode in all these dungeons is actually kind of fun. You get so much experience, which is actually quite a nice thing t to have. And that lets you kill things more efficiently. And the more you do it, the more you get to do it, pretty much. Uh, almost to the end of the dungeon. And we can do story stuff. Maybe. I'm guessing. This is the third day in a row without story stuff happening, so... What's that beetle? No, I think he went onto the other side of the couch, so I can't see him now. How sad. I think I'll name him Jerry. Jerry sounds like a decent name for a beetle. Einfeld Beetle. Ah, Garn used Spark and nothing happened apparently. 
Apparently, Garn's spark just. Oh, it's because he has mud. He has a mud. Nah. He has a mud spore, I think, that his spark isn't really doing anything. Next, I see. This is a smaller floor than others, it seems. Did that enemy just, like, straight up spawn? Yay! That's less fine, kind of. Congratulations, you're almost average. You're almost half as good as everyone else here. That's quite the accomplishment. Anyhow. Monster house time? Monster house time. Oh, whale lord thing. Wait. Whiskash, not whale lord. Interesting. Where much health they all have. So it's probably best that I take that, take all these out, just so less things are attacking all at once. That's really the best thing to do when it comes to these things. Have less things able to do damage to you all at once. Yeah, these guys got the right idea. Holy crap! Well, I didn't mean to do that. Garn, do your thing! That was beautiful. Oh, I am in a terrible spot. Haha, <laughs> you're stupid. Alright. Alright, so bite should suffice with these guys. Oh, thank you, Caprica. Caprica's looking out for me. I think she's trying to make up for that one time that she left me. Oh, you. At the very least, I won't hit my teammates. Haha, <laughs> I'm not a traitor. <laughs> that was dumb. I know what confusion did in this game. Yay! Whoa, look at this floor. That's actually pretty cool. All the way up here. I have not seen a floor like that. That's cool. I guess it's specific to the job. Yes, let us leave the dungeon. Actually, no, this way's only nine floors. Yeah. Well, at least Caprico can't be confused. Thank you. Oh god, I can't swap places with anyone. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> that was a lot more fun than should have been. Anyways. We actually only have 10 more minutes left in the episode. Oh! Jerry's back! How do you get all the way over there? Yeah, how do you get all the way over there? What's he doing? Like, what is his goal? He starts out in point A, he goes all the way across to point B, and then he ends up in point C that's between point A and point B, but moved, uh, shipped a little perpendicular. What is his goal in life? Is he even a he? Uh, probably... See, I apparently- I just suck completely at determining gender. I have- I've done this for numerous Pokemon on my team. I've done that to a good number of people online, more than I should ever admit. And then there's this beetle. Is Jerry holding something? Holy crap. There's a little bug, there's like a mosquito or something on Jerry's back. It's cute. Or something. I don't know. Oh, Jerry, don't you... Get off my comic books. Those are lent to me by a friend. I haven't read them in a long time. Jerry! Just don't get them dirty. Oh, yay! Technical machine that I probably can't use. Doesn't sound like something I'd be able to use. 
in our head. Heads. Black gummy. Yeah, you got explo exploration points. Z. That was actually a pretty fun outlaw. Huh? Things are happening. Oh, is it a... No, oh, Dread. What kind of sound effect is that? Oh dear. Whoa! I'm so freaking psyched, man. Oh. Why don't you just tell us that morning then? Oh, god, that apple just appeared out of nowhere. Really tough's creepy. Eh. I want more of those scenes where I just fall over dead. Well, yes, as I was saying, I want more of those scenes where it seems like Garn's just speaking to himself while I'm asleep. Wait, no, he's actually thinking this time. So never mind. Oh, that's me. Never mind. I was wondering why I could hear his thoughts. I really do wonder how. I wonder if much is going to be done with that. I, yeah, lots of lots of stuff is going to be done with that ability, but I'm wondering how well it's going to be handled. Like, whenever you really get down to it with the whole, there's something about him just sleeping there, about the player character being there that makes you makes you think more about how life has changed so much, and that. Now you're a Pokemon doing this stuff, having had a life beforehand that you d don't remember, but still. Oh, hey, this is the, uh, that was the Time Gear scene from the, uh, from the title screen, I think. What's the point of that silly one? I can totally tell who that is. Wait. Okay. The majority of people who have played this game have been trained to recognize Silhouettes of Pokemon by who's that Pokemon anyhow. You cannot expect them to not recognize who that is. No, I'm not going to name who that is, because it's, it's definitely not like I don't know who it is or anything, but still. The next morning. It's morning, man. Uh, time for the big reveal. Anything to say, Gon, before I go? Hmm. Alright. Why did it use such... like, formal language in describing what just happened? Madrid. Do -do. Yeah, Madrid, don't be a dick. I mean, I agree, but still. Big talker. Jerk. <laughs> you suck so much, game. Uh, 
probably kind of rude to say. Kind of, probably kind of rude to say. Oh well, this is a surprise. But uh. or however you pronounce that. Do do. That's ev that's over a half of everyone. Wait, Sally is only me, Garn, and Team Skull, and this dude, and Dula and Dumtrio. Okay, but still, that's like half of everyone. That's four actually. So never mind. That's less than half, but now yeah, whatever. That's the less significant portion than I had imagined. So I actually get chosen. That's interesting. Never mind. God. <laughs> you suck so much. Oh. Game. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. They just make you think so many times that you've actually been chosen. Like, even just that last little bit. Like, you advance the text, it says, everyone but you, and <laughs> then you just advance it one more time. Oh. Wait a moment, isn't that everyone? Yeah, <laughs> that's a problem. To explain. Well, that's that. Bro. Woo. Why is the whole selection process thing done then? Not even from like a story perspective, from Weekly Tough's perspective. I mean, you, know, you don't question things from Weekly Tough's perspective, you just don't. I should, I should know that by now. That is, everyone. Uh oh, I can't have Caprica and. Mm. Can have Brickham and Matt with me. Alright, so I can do, just do uh, go do grind stuff too um, before I embark on this. That's nice. We didn't get it. We didn't need to get picked. If everyone's chosen, no one's chosen. But, alright. Mm. I wonder where we're going, actually. I wonder how loud Loudrig sounds to himself, given that his ears are the only thing that match his mouth and size. Figuratively speaking. Not figuratively speaking, kind of... whatever. Like... In relation to the normal scale of a mouth, let's say their mouth is five times bigger than a normal mouth, their ears are also five times bigger than normal ears. There, I explained it. Which made it sound not amusing in any way, shape, or form, but also makes me sound less dumb. 
Federation has sent a message. Woo! Yes, I've been wanting exactly this. I'm guessing I just got another page of stuff, though. Items. I'm guessing at least. Alright, so that's that for this episode slips. No! No, no, no. Oh, am I not gonna be able to go off and do more, do another day stuff? Maybe I won't. Not to see, at least. I mean, can I actually like pick up jobs and whatnot? It looks like I can. Stuff on the board. Anyhow, so that, that is it for this episode. Let's say Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Oh, hi. Incidentally, oh, that. Hat. Heal your wounds. I just thought about that. It seems to. Hmm. Gives a different mental image than you usually get here. You suck. I want to grind. Off screen. Ah. Darn game. Anyhow. I'm getting all my items and whatnot managed and stuff off screen, I guess. On screen. Did I just say on or off screen? I meant on screen. Why I'm doing it on screen? I'm not sure, but. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Let's play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Next episode, we'll uh, get prepped and head on the expedition that everyone's been talking about for so darn long. I'm gonna take my knack first. You can, you can look right here, the game's just feeling tired, it's all sluggish. It tells him you should stop. So... Boop. Bye guys! Have fun, or something. Go outside. Eat a taco. And come back and watch it again. Bye!